Hi there Facebook, it's Kamal Fernandez here with uh, the Poodle Puppy. I'm not going to say her name, obviously, it's a cover I'm really, really religious on. Um, and I thought I would do a live session to sort of update people about how she's been getting on and what we've been doing with her and working on something that's really, really important for her specifically, or for any dog, but has definitely become somewhat of an issue. So we're going to be proactive and rather than let it develop into a big problem, um, I'm going to deal with it now. So. Um, She's had a really busy um, couple of weeks. I've been filming the second series of The Dog Academy, which will be on Channel 4 next year, 2024. Um, there's yet, we haven't got a date, so that will be, um, I'll let people know when that is. Really, really excited about that because there's, I'm take my shoes off, because there is um, some really, really, really challenging cases on that. So um, definitely having to, um, step up our game, shall we say. So um, lots of, um, interesting dogs <coughs> really really heartwarming stories so hopefully that will be great for for to see um it's only at the moment available in the uk for those of you that follow me from other countries um i don't know if there is plans hopefully there will be depending on the popularity and success of the show so but obviously i will share insight about the dogs um when that when it gets aired next year so on to the puppy she came with me she was absolutely brilliant um, it took it all in her stride. She actually might even make a little television debut, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But what has definitely come um, to the fore is that although she's a coated breed um, and she was raised brilliantly, she's definitely um, got some issues with um, being groomed, which is going to be very unfortunate given the breed of dog that she is. So um, she doesn't like, um, or didn't like, um, a slicker or... Um, a comb run through her and she definitely didn't like the clippers on her face which is not unusual for puppies i mean she's entering you know uh well not yet but she will go through a fear period in which i'd be more sensitive to that sort of stuff she had her first groom with a professional groomer and she all she did was bath her to start getting her used to that process so really important thing if you've got a coated breed of dog those of you that have you know poodles crosses um all the various crosses of poodles that we now have um it's really important that you get um, a really great groomer that will work with you and start working on that from the second that you get them. So obviously I've been doing lots of things with her where I'm just getting her used to being brushed. So, so what I will do is, for example, now, uh, which she quite likes it, okay? Yep, good. I'm clicking her for interacting with the item. The other thing I'm doing is, as you can see, I do a lot of this where I, I feed her and then I first start off with... Um, um, good, good. I first start off, good, with just using the back of the brush and then the more she um, gets comfortable with it, based on, you see there a couple of times she, she stopped eating, good, good girl, nice. So I'm not really pushing the point now, I'm not sort of being too intrusive with my grooming of her, good. Um, and I'm doing little tiny sessions like that. Other thing is obviously running a comb through her, so let's first start with the back of the comb, good. And then literally just running that through a little bit. Good. So she, as you can see, she's so engrossed in the food that she isn't noticing the comb going through her coat, which is great. Um, if she was to stop eating, I would stop grooming, but she's clearly comfortable with that. So good. There we go. She just a little bit stopped there where the, the comb caught in her fur a little bit. Good. Good girl. So just working on her being comfortable with being groomed. Good girl. Nice. So just doing around her back end as well, which is, you know, a place that often people miss and so making sure the puppy's comfortable. And it's those, yep, good, those areas that are a bit more sensitive. So I can click her if she's, you know, she, uh, if she was really apprehensive, I'm just using the food to essentially distract her at this stage. Good, and then, good. I'd like to be able to, good. So as I go over her head, she stops eating. Good, good girl. Good, nice, and I carry on if she's comfortable. So if she doesn't, if she d isn't happy with um, me bringing the, the comb full over her head, like that, I stop. Good, nice, and I'll just go back to just stroking her head with it. So building up. The other thing that she definitely has had issues with is a clippers around her face. So probably wondering why I've got my toothbrush in my hand because it offers a similar sensation. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first break this down into pieces. First is just having that stroke her face, okay? I'm deliberately being quite intrusive, okay, and feeding her as I do so, 
Okay, but I'm gonna break it down to just having the noise around her. Good, you can see her ear twitch there. Good, nice, so good. So she just stopped eating there for a second. Good, good. So someone just touch her face with it. Good, good, that's better, good. Again, if she had stopped at any point, good. I would have stopped eating, I should say. I would have backed up, good. So she stopped eating, so I'm gonna just pull this away. And I can pull it away there, good. Good, nice, good. Good, good. So I'm gonna just do the action. And if that's it, super, so nice. So she's just chewing on her treat. Good, nice, good. And I'm gonna stop, so that's plenty for her on that little lesson, good. So I keep on feeding her so that she doesn't see that um, um, disappear. And I can also, and another version, another option, is to stop the feeding when she, when this disappears. So she learns that this item, which will eventually be a pair of clippers, put this on, okay. Good, so predicts food coming to the feed, okay. And then, good, happy with that. So she stopped eating. Nice. Good. And then we stop feeding. Good. So nice little, again, an investment into the dog that I would like her to be. Obviously, with a coated breed, it's really important that they get comfortable with being handled by other people, by you as their owner. They're comfortable with being groomed and so forth and so forth. So really pleased with that progress because what she used to do was attack the brush and, and, um, and definitely have issues with it. And I don't want that to be an experience that she has, so I'm being proactive. So obviously last week I also worked on a little bit of shaping and she seems to have got the um, understanding or binging of the understanding of what I want in regards to this item. So I'm gonna just refresh that memory. Let's just get my treats ready. So let her figure it out. Yep, <laughs> she does do that, which is very cute and I have clicked it a couple of times. Break, let's see if she goes again. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> yep. So what she's tending to do is put two feet on and break and uh, pounce around, which is, I really shouldn't laugh, but it's kind of cute and amusing. So we'll see if she can just hold position now. I'm going to change my marker cue. Good. Snack. Good. Good. So I'm going to just say my marker cue, pause, feed in position, snack. Good. Because I want to build a little bit of duration. So I'm going to wait for her to go back on snack. Good. Nice. Snack. So even though at this stage she comes off, okay, I'm just snack. Good. Teaching her that the food, if I say that, the food's going to come to her. Snack. Good. As soon as she lingers, good. Snack. Good. So I like, I'm mindful that she's coming off and then getting back on. So I'm going to see if I can get a tiny, tiny bit of duration. Snack. There it was. Break. Good. Let's go back again. Wait for it to go back on. Yeah. Snack. Super. At this stage, snack. Good. I'm keeping my hands. Snack. Relatively close to her. Let's see if she'll just make a tiny little. Good. Snack. Good. As soon as she makes that choice to stay on there. Snack. Snack. So I'm not going for a lot of duration. All is I want is that tiny bit of stillness, okay? So happy with that. She's starting to get some understanding. So the other thing we've been working on is obviously failing lures on certain behaviours. So, yep, good. So she's got the uh, a turn to the, <coughs> excuse me, left coming. Let's do that again. Ready? Oh, so stuck there. Yep, good. Nice one. Get it. Well done, baby. Good. The, the song. So this one, she needs more help. Good, super. Let's do that one again. Yep, nice, good. So now I'm progressing to just clicking her for following the hand and rewarding somewhere else. So I want them to start to fade my lure a little bit. Yep, good, nice, good. And dogs tend to have one side stronger than the other. So, so that one's her weaker side. Yep, good, nice, good girl, good. So she's, that's progressing nicely. So she does do a nice little offering of a SIT when she's, good. Yep, 
Nice, good. Let's do that again. So see if she'll. She might pull my hand up. Yep, good. Nice. So there's no cue on it at this stage. Yep, good. No cue on this stage. Just letting her off of the position. So the down is heavily lured. So let's see if I can. Good. As soon as she puts her bum on the ground. Good girl. Super. Good. Okay, that'll do. So, just sowing those little seeds. Starting to work on things that are important to her. Husbandry skills, being groomed, etc. Starting to think about fading lures and getting those behaviours being offered. So, all real, real baby stuff. You can see her getting the understanding of um, the... You can see her getting the understanding of the items uh, like the perch. Um, but I haven't done the... Uh, platform she's really really um got that so i'm going to back off that and teach her other things now she's still she's her play is normally great that's really coming nicely when it's i don't have food around she, the work switching between food and toys is still a work in progress so i always make a point of working on that on a semi-regular basis so building her play ups independently from the food and then to getting her to switch so obviously in this session i used food oh, good girl um in this session i used food um but there's sessions where I'll specifically work on getting her to switch because that's really, really important long term. The other thing is she's getting very bitey. That's partly down to um, her sleep patterns as well. She's getting more active. She's, you know, she's, as puppies grow, grow, they tend to obviously need a little bit more of an outlet for their energy. So um, I'm now upping her uh, exercise, so to speak, as you can with the puppy, where she's having more time uh, out uh, and busying around and that's then affected her sleeping pattern so it's always a little bit of trial and error to find the amount of sleep that they need versus the amount of activity they need often you find <coughs> that as they with like with her they get a little bit um more active then their sleep patterns can change uh, and it's really important that you be mindful of that so she's ha had a tiny nap this morning but now i'll pop her away and let her probably get at least an hour an hour and a bit sleep um otherwise she definitely definitely gets bitey biting puppy biting is definitely linked to sleep deprivation uh, or lack of sleep i should say so make sure that if your puppy is biting that you're aware of that uh and you take note of the amount of sleep that they're getting um other than that absolutely elated with her she's a super super little pup really really pleased with what she's doing she's bright she's willing she wants to engage with you she's really really active so lots and lots and lots to to be pleased with um the stuff that she's um oh, the stuff that she's doing is just standard puppy stuff it's nothing to be concerned about all those things are um possible to train and to build through reinforcement and that's what we're working on all right guys just a quick little live from me and baby um yes you uh, so just some tips there about husbandry, working on some skills, fading um, lure, your lure hand and starting to get behaviours being offered and yeah, creating more understanding. See you later all. Have a good day, whatever you're doing.